really the issue here is, is height. So if I have me and Paul as my one man, then it's great all day long. Oh, look, I found Paul. We found a Paul. So he here, is. I could, I mean, I could probably do a depressed oh. muzzle and still be over his shoulder. Pet this pig real quick. John, I'm trying to teach you. I'm, I'm trying sorry. to teach you a class. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Professionalism, please. Hey guys, Evan Temple here with Warrior Poet Society. If you look around, we're making videos, but we also got a lot of guns, a lot of guns. And with great guns comes great responsibility. And that's why we choose USCCA for training, education, and a little bit of insurance. You're gonna need them all because the legal landscape changes all the time. The USCCA helps responsible Americans like you prepare for what happens before, during, and after an act of lawful self-defense. Guys, USCCA subscription is 100% risk-free for 365 days, money back guarantee. In addition to offering education and training, the USCCA has purchased an insurance policy that provides the association and its members with self-defense liability insurance. So here's the deal, guys. USCCA is all about keeping us out of danger. I'm carrying, you're carrying, we're carrying. You know you need them. So head on over to uscca.com forward slash warpoet so they know we sent you, and you're gonna get a little training. You're gonna get a little insurance. You're gonna get a little education. So why not? Let's get into the video. All right, what's happening, my friends? Incredibly important skill. I use this all the time, and that's taking your rifle from high port onto target. So this is in the family of ready-up drills that I'll do. I'll come from Sewell. Sometimes I'm over the shoulder. Sometimes I'm in this high port position. It's incredibly important when fighting in and around structures, around vehicles. Again, I said it, I use it all the time, and I think it's a real important skill for you. Today, one of our lead instructors, for Warrior Poet Society, Josh, is going to be showing you how to do high port. I'm going to be hanging out as well. And uh, basically, not only how to do it, but why it's important. And so we're going to learn from him really, really important skill. Today, we're in Rifle 1 class. That's where this is usually taught. Tomorrow, we're doing a Rifle 2 class. But if you don't know Josh Griffiths, know that he's an incredibly experienced guy, incredible resume. He was a second Ranger Battalion guy like I was. Rock on, Rangers lead the way. Then he went into 10th Special Forces Group. Now he's in 20th Special forces group teaching all kinds of stuff he was a former GRS guy as well so an incredible wealth of experience we're lucky to have him and you guys would be lucky to train with him check down below in this video if you'd like to train with Josh so we're gonna lean in and see what's going on right now we'll do the little shooting montage meet some of the students and then we'll get into the class anyway too much talking let's go learn something come on So uh, we're going to the high port or high carry, uh, 10 gun, there's a few different names for it, but essentially my gun is here, hooked underneath my arm, my bicep here, kind of like a 45 degree angle out in front of me, right? And this adjusts a little bit depending on what I'm doing. Um, and I'm looking basically through my muzzle device or just over my muzzle at what would be the target right here, right? And this is my starting position from here. Uh, a couple instances when I would use this, I'm climbing a ladder, right? I might have to have my hands on the ladder and I'm looking up like this. I have it at kind of a high retention here uh, so I can address any threats at the top of the ladder as I'm, as I'm going up the ladder. Um, I also use it around vehicles. If I'm moving from say the hood of a car and I'm standing up and I'm moving to the, the rear of a vehicle, I can come up here and I can move without flagging you know, fellow assaulters or fellow shooters, whatever I you know, have in front of me. Kind of a downside of that then is if I'm not careful as I'm moving like this, I'm kind of flagging my position over the car. So you just watch that little like cartoon stick going along the hood of the car and the roof of the car. So you have to be careful for your, your flagging there. You're not giving away your, your position before you start shooting. Uh, the last time I would use this, it's usually it's like a number two man in a house. Uh, if I'm stacking up on somebody here like this, it gives me the opportunity to hold onto their plate carrier and I can kind of look over their shoulder, see what's going on and my gun's in a safe position when I'm not pointing at them, right? Um, I really only use it as the two. I will go to like a Sewell or depressed muzzle as a three or four. Um, and even this is kind of a, is pros and cons, 50-50. Um, really the issue here is, is height. So if I have me and Paul as my one man, then it's great all day long. <laughs> Oh look, I found we, Paul. We found a Paul. So there here, he I could, I mean, I could probably do a depressed oh. muzzle and still be over his shoulder. Pet this pig real quick. John, I'm trying to teach you. I'm trying I'm to teach you class. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Professionalism, please. 
All right, so if I have somebody like this who's a, who's a shorter assaulter than me, I'm, I'm not worried about this. Now, if the roles are reversed and I'm in front of Paul, his muzzle's gonna be right at the back of my head. All right, so that's, this is when Paul is, this is not a good move for Paul because I, my helmet's not rated for 5.56. Five, so, right? So pros and cons of that different position um, and when it, times and places to use it, right? So the way the presentation works, kind of how you guys did the, uh, the over the shoulder earlier, I'm starting here. I have my, my forearm and my bicep kind of pinching the stock here against my side like this, right? And I'm starting from here. Like I said, my gun is angled forward where I'm looking just over my muzzle device. If I was looking at target 13 right there, I'm looking just over my muzzle device at the target here, right? As I present out, my gun comes out here to presentation and then back in the pocket of my shoulder, right? If I'm wearing body armor or a kit and stuff, I need to make sure I clear all any pouches or whatever cummerbund stuff I have going on here, right? I need to clear that and then come back into my shoulder. So I'm coming out, presenting my shoulder and, and cheek, meet my stock here and kind of guides back in. So you guys can see it comes out and guides back into the pocket of my shoulder here and I'm ready to shoot when my dot lands where it should be on the target. Rock on, let's burn it down. All man. right. All you right. need to warm up. How about you give him a bill drill? I hate you, John. Sure, John. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That, so we won't do that. Just go into the shooting. Yeah, we'll do it, John. It's fine. You want it? We'll do it, John. It's no, okay. No, no. no, it's fine. Yeah, we, now we're we, doing it. It's how. Ah, it's ears! <laughs> uh, do you need to pet the pig for motivation? Dealer choice. He doesn't need the pig. <clears throat> All right, that answers that. <laughs> All right, so I'll do a couple times slow real quick, um, demo the technique, and then we'll, we'll speed it up a little bit and see how, how fast we can get some shots off. So from here, all right, so nice and, nice and easy. I come from here, I present out. Back on safe, from here. Out, present out. Bill drill? Bill drill. All right. <laughs> Do it again, that was awesome. <laughs> nice. Ah, not too bad. Do it again. All right. All right, one more time. <laughs> Do it again. Bro. It's all right, if you hadn't shot seven, the first two times, you would have been good <laughs> Yeah, right, yeah. So Shot five and a half on the third one, and it really threw me off. All right. All right, guys. So, um, that is the 10-gun, high carry, John's retention, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's kind of the same thing. It's underneath my shoulder, underneath my shoulder, here, right, which gives me distance, or it gives me proximity, adjust my proximity to whatever's in front of me, whether it be cover or a person. I'm, I'm pressing out, presenting out away from my body, making sure I clear whatever I have, heavy clothing, kit, whatever, and I'm leveling my gun and driving it back into my shoulder, meeting my cheek to my stock where it should be, right on my dot, and going from there. Any questions? All right, we're gonna get on the line, we're gonna dry fire it a couple times, and then we will gas them up and burn them down. I've heard that ah, <laughs> motivation, I'm gonna get the pig before you guys do. I got this for you. Thank you. Right there he is. Yep. All right, online. Now, some of you are wondering, why is John holding a pig? And this pig is called the Go Pig Get Some Mo Warrior Poet Motivation Award, hashtag that some pig. This is an award that we're gonna be giving to one of these lucky students who uh, shows a high level of motivation without annoying Josh and I. Well, I have a long history of sucking up properly and okay. <laughs> this is probably the culmination. And so we signed it and stuff. Yay for that. Josh wrote Battle Pig up and then he wrote it in Russian because he speaks Russian and sometimes he uh, comes on to our stuff with the alternate persona Yashka Drago. So this is our motivation pig. I want to know what you guys would do for this illustrious award. Tell me down below in the comments, what would you do for this motivation pig? 
that one of these students are going home with. We found this in a gas station this morning for $12 and we thought it'd be funny. All right, hey guys, this is where you leave us. If you wanna get some training, love for you to train with us in person. Come train with Josh, come train with myself, come train with Paul, love to have you in person for training. If you just can't make it or you desperately need to save a little cash, check down below, join our Warrior Poet Society Network app. We have an app streaming service. It's got all of our training classes on there already, as well as a lot of industry experts out there, professionals, incredible way to get some great, great training right at your fingertips. You'll be watching it in just a moment. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, toggle notifications bell to all, share, like, comment, all that stuff. Check down below for all of it. Really appreciate you guys. Train hard, train smart, and stay free, right? See ya.